In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable security in your projects, as well as two different ways of adding a login page to your app. Let's get going. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome. My name is Ryan and this is Hello Mendix. In Studio Pro, we're gonna click on security to get started. Set your security level to production and then click OK. This is automatically going to add the default login HTML page to your app. If we rerun our app now, we should see it when we land on the page. Notice that the app now expects a username and password for you to authenticate. This is the default login.html page, and it can be found inside of your app's directory, inside of theme, web, right over here. You can manually customize this to reflect your brand's look and feel, or to implement SSO or some other functionality. Now to add option two. The second option is to build out a page in Studio Pro using the Studio Pro WYSIWYG editor. We're going to go back to Studio Pro and back into security. Next, we move to the user roles tab and add a new user role called guest. Now we need to move to the anonymous users tab and set allow anonymous users to yes. Underneath that, we have to choose the anonymous user role which is our guest. Click OK. We now have to set up our navigation to ensure that the guest users are directed to a page where they can log in and become authenticated. Navigation is just below security, so open that up. And then underneath role-based homepages, we're going to say edit, click new, select guest, then hit select target. We now need to create a page for our guest to be directed to. So select my first module and click new. Then choose to create a page. Go to the logins, select login as the template. And then you can give it a name like login web. Click OK and now we can open that page and the last thing we need to do is to define who can see this in the visible for section. This is the properties window. So click underneath visible for and then select guest to make sure guests can access this page. Now, when we view our app, you'll notice that it's a different login page. Remember that you can use the demo switcher to quickly change between user roles when testing this app. Pro tip, in order for an administrator to create user accounts, they're gonna need navigation set up to accounts underscore overview. Or you could create a sign-up process for your users to enable them to create verified user accounts all on their own. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan, and this is Hello Mendix.